Canada, home to vast forests, endless mountain ranges, and stunning wildlife. Join me, Sam Davis, along with my brother Ben and friend Miller on our epic road trip across British Columbia and Alberta. Subscribe to the channel for photography tips and detailed videos of the hikes on this trip. Flying from the UK over Iceland, we spent the first day exploring BC's largest city, Vancouver, taking in the sights of downtown, cycling around the somewhat huge Stanley Park and getting a tour through time at the Museum of Vancouver. Our second day in Vancouver had us visit the famous Granville Island Markets, a historic hub of local trade and now delicious eateries. We've just gone to the Market Grill here. We get some burgers and fries and poutine and delicious things like that. Well fed, we head off to the Road Surfer Depot to collect our luxury motorhome, or as they call it in North America, Recreational Vehicle, or RV for short. Our original plan was to head to Whistler, but due to heavy rain being forecast for the next two days, we changed our plans and headed east, picking up some Superflux craft beer on the way. We stayed overnight at Kilby Historic Town, settling into the RV that evening and unpacking our kitchen box and luggage. The following morning, we had a tour of the Kilby Museum town before heading off on our long drive to Kelowna. So we are watching a hockey game in Kelowna, British Columbia. The Kelowna Rockets and the Vancouver Giants. From Kelowna, we hit the road again and headed to Revelstoke. On the way, we stopped at Eagle River Nature Park to stretch our legs and stumbled on a river filled with spawning red salmon. That night, we stayed at Martha Creek Provincial Park Campground and enjoyed steaks on the fire and a beautiful clear night sky. The next day, we started on the first major hike of our trip up at the top of Mount Revelstoke National Park. We headed from the summit to the Miller and Eva Lakes. The latter featuring a 1920s Warden's Cabin. Along the way we spotted lazy mountain marmots and cute cheeky pikers. The next day we headed on Highway 1 to Glacier National Park, staying at the gorgeous Illa Silhouette Campground, and took a gentle stroll before resting our legs around the campfire. We awoke early the next morning and headed off on our 12.8 km hike of the Curly Rock Trail. With 1,145 meters elevation, it surely was a test of the thighs. Heading steeply up to the Illa Silhouette Ice Field, this hike provided panoramic mountain views, including glaciers and also wildlife such as pikers, marmots, and white-tailed partnigan. Next we carried on up Highway 1 to the town of Golden and managed to get a last minute spot at Kicking Horse Campground in Yoho National Park. We spent the afternoon strolling around the stunning but incredibly busy Emerald Lake. The next day we embarked on what I think was my favourite hike of the whole trip. We hiked the trail anti-clockwise heading first to Laughing Falls, before heading up through the trees to the glacial scree slopes. Snowstorms made us wet and cold, but eventually the weather broke to reveal a vast and rugged landscape with hanging glaciers all around. We then spent a couple of days at Tunnel Mountain Campground on the edge of Banff, taking time to stroll around the town and also embark on a canoeing venture from Banff Canoe Club on the Bow River. Surrounded by mountain views, we were stunned to see some elk on the riverbank and one decided to cross the river right in front of us, a magical moment which I will never forget. While in Banff, we discovered that to visit Lake Louise and Moraine Lake you had to book a shuttle. Unfortunately for us, these were booked up for a few days. Seeking solitude, we spent the afternoon just over into Kusini National Park, 
and headed up the Stanley Glacier Trail. The swooping U-shaped valley headed gradually up and gave us an insight into the fast regrowth that happens after wildfires. Saw so, from all our hikes, the next day we took a relaxing dip in Lucia Creek Hot Springs at White Swan Lake Provincial Park, before heading down south by Cranbrook and Creston to Slocan in Valhalla Provincial Park. On arrival, we discovered that the park was close to hikers due to ongoing wildfires, and sure enough we could see smoke coming from the forest in many places along the lake. After a short stroll around the summit lake, we had a wild drive over to Vernon. On our way to the cable ferry, a huge thunderstorm and squall rolled through, making driving extremely difficult. Trees were falling down all over the road, and nearly all the way to Vernon we had to pick our way through driving around them. That night we stayed at the beautiful Kukuli Bay Provincial Park, then headed off to Whistler via Kamloops. We have arrived in Whistler! Woo, look how crazy Whistler is. It's raining. Yeah, it looks like a reasonably nice place. In Whistler, the rain finally stopped, and we had a beautiful day hiking around the Skywalk South Trail, offering clear views across to the ski hills with granite domes, glaciers, and enchanting forest. Not to mention a surplus of mushrooms. Having the RV in Canada was a blast. It was super secure for all my photography gear and was like having a mobile studio on the road where I could edit and back up my photos. Be sure to check out Road Surfer for campervan and RV rental. <laughs>